taking today off because I finished packing all the orders from the last shop restock on Friday. Basically, I realized that a whole year has passed of doing From True to Sea as my full-time gig. 2020 was obviously kind of a weird year for starting to run a business full-time, but we made it through, we did it. I would say January was really like one year birthday and now it's March, it's actually March 1st today, so what can you do? Always a little bit late. I thought it would be fun since I had the day off to make my business a birthday cake. So that's what we're doing today. I'm a little cheater, so I'm just gonna use like a cake mix, I think. I'm gonna go on a really big long walk right now then I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get a couple things and then I'll be back and we will start baking. to do a little daisy mug and then I'm thinking we'll do like you know some cute little icing a lot more than I was expecting so I was gonna do a double layer cake and I think I still will but I'm just gonna use the one because I think that's all I need it'll be thick enough I have this kit of like icing tubes and different uh, frosting tips and then I also got one of these like fancy cake spatulas which I think will be really great I feel like I'm on a cooking show which is really funny because this is a box cake mix even though a I do really like baking, I didn't have time for that today. Moment of truth to see if this will come out in one piece. <laughs> Yay! Sweet. So I'm gonna flip this back around. Oh god, I shouldn't have put it on the paper yet. Okay, so because I want it to be a double layered cake, I'm gonna use a bread knife, cut into it. And this cake is not really cool enough yet like I probably could have given it a little more time but we're here now so I actually decided I'm gonna let this cool so in the meantime I'm gonna make some frosting and by make some frosting I mean I'm just gonna color it with food coloring but I have this kind of bigger bowl for the pink icing this will just be for the yellow icing good pretty pink that's not a one handed situation oh no Okay, so definitely not perfect. A lot of the cake started lifting up with the icing. So I really just globbed it on there. It's on the inside anyway, so who really cares, right? Oh god. Place this on top. Oh.
she ain't perfect, but she's pretty cute. A little bit lopsided. <laughs> But now comes the fun part, the part where we actually decorate. I'm actually gonna take this off now, I think, because I'm gonna pipe around the bottom. Does that make sense, or should I wait to take them out? I don't know. So we're gonna use this one. <laughs> I just realized you're supposed to put this like inside the bag and then cut it. <laughs> okay. Why don't I ever look at any instructions or read anything when I'm doing anything? This obviously took a turn, um, not what I was planning to do, but I think it's really cute still, so I'm on board. Uh, I'm gonna pipe around the top, like a little border, and then pipe around the bottom, and I'll take these parchment papers off, and then I think I'll try adding daisies to them. that it was not only my one year anniversary of doing From Tree to Sea full time, but it was also my six year anniversary of working with clay. This is my very first hand-built project that was ever fired, which is crazy. My work has come a long way since then, and I think that's worth celebrating. Here is the final cake. Oh my gosh, it actually turned out really cute. I added some yellow daisies to the mug. Are the sides cute? No, not really, but it'll be super sweet and icingy, so that's fun. But yay, happy one year of full-time ceramics and from tree to sea. <laughs> we did it!